Before we wrap up in a couple of minutes, I wonder if we can go around and each of you can say what your greatest fear is for this new technology and what your greatest hope is. Debbie, you want to go first? Um, my greatest hope is easy. That's lives saved. Um, my greatest fear is um, that we won't roll it out in a responsible way and that will result in setting us back so that the technology isn't adopted uh, to save those lives. I'm, I'm with Debbie on my greatest hope mm. is really that, you know, there's a dramatic reduction in, in accidents and not just for vehicle users, but the vulnerable road users are really important. Um, and, I, and I guess I, I have a fear, I mean, I think incidents need to be taken extremely seriously, but, um, but we, you know, there, there could be a fear that if we, um, we somehow, um, that short-term phase when, when the benefits don't fully accrue, that we don't keep the long-term of the, of the more massive benefits that will come with time in mind. So we have to balance the short and the long-term. Yeah, and I agree with both of you, and I think that a, an aggressive, well-thought-out, comprehensive communications effort will be crucial to bring the public along so that increasingly they don't overreact to a single crash. Uh, are we overreacting to the, to the, I mean, the fatality is a fatality. Are we overreacting to these things that have happened recently, these accidents? Is that a concern? Uh, I, I, I think they're very serious. And, and mm -hmm. so I, I um, you know, I, uh, every human life is precious. And, I think uh, we underreact to the hundred fatalities yeah, right. that occur every day on our roadways and right. don't prioritize saving those lives. Everyone heard about the Southwest right. fatality that occurred in aviation. That was the first a U.S. domestic commercial aviation fatality in nine years. Mm -hmm. But yet we kill 100 people a day on our roadways and that's not front page news. Mm -hmm. That's the shame of it. Mm -hmm. um, Peter, your greatest hope and greatest fear? Well, yeah, you know, I agree with Debbie. I think um, the definitive reduction of serious injuries and fatalities is is, is really why we're doing this. And I think it's been to the credit of this country that all of this technology has been pursued with that objective. I guess my biggest fear is that the danger is going to remain locked up. Um, we really need a new safety science for vehicles because it's going to be like aircraft. The crashes are going to be few and far between. So how, how do we understand safety of highly automated vehicles? It's through the data, so we need to get our 